Hey guys, it's Dylan with Dakoni Audio, and today we're gonna to show you the inside of a headphone. We're gonna be breaking down the new Dakoni Hi-Fi Man Cobalt to see what's inside. I got my tools right here, so let's dive on in. Typically, the first step to tearing down a headphone starts with the ear pads. On the Dakoni Hi-Fi Man Cobalt, it's very easy to remove the ear pads by pushing your thumb against the ear pad clips and pressing away from the headphone. They'll just pop right out. Repeat this process once more for the other side, and then you'll get the shell of the headphone. For this next step, you'll need a jeweler's screwdriver specifically of the Phillips kind. There's six screws for each of the ear cups, and you start with one and move on to the next. Be sure to have a place to put your screws. I've elected to use a mouse pad and just keep moving with the process. Once you've removed all six screws, you can move on to the fascia, which will pop out very easily. And now you have the driver and the fascia of the ear cup. Connected to this is a little PCB with a terminal for 3.5 millimeter connection. I'll put this fascia off to the side and move on to the next one. Once again, there's six screws to unscrew and we put them on the mouse pad so we don't lose them. I've removed all six screws and I'll just pop it out once more. Now we've gotten to the shell of the headphone and we have one more part to remove before we get to the yoke. There are eight more screws holding the headphone together which will allow us to get to the screws that the yoke sit on. I'm gonna go ahead and remove eight more screws. They're color coded on the cobalt so the interior screws are silver and the exterior screws are black. I've removed all eight screws and now the back cover of the ear cup is removable. I'll repeat this process once more for the other side before we move on to our next tool. Putting that off to the side. Now we can move on to removing the yoke from the ear cup. For this process, we'll be using a large flathead screwdriver. On the yoke, there's one screw for each side. Once the screws are removed, the yoke can now be removed from the piece. Once more. And now the yoke is removed from the headphone. Now for this last part, I have these headphone drivers right here and they're inside of the fascia, but it takes a razor to get them out because they're actually glued into place. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab some of our friends over here from a donor Dakoni Hive I'm in Cobalt and show you the inside of them. These kind of just pop right out. For the purpose of this video, this transducer is a dynamic transducer or a dynamic headphone driver. And what that means is it's just a magnet on the back suspended in an electrical coil that receives electricity attached to a diaphragm that pushes air. So it's really interesting and we're gonna just rip this one open. So <clears throat> now I'm just gonna <clears throat> gasp, rip the driver diaphragm. And, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it doesn't like that. This is sacrilegious for someone like me, but we do it for science. Oh, 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 oh. I'm destroying the new Hi-Fi Man driver. There we go. This is the diaphragm and it's attached to an electrical coil right here, which receives electricity and then is grounded out after it's done. This sits in a suspension of a magnetic field around a magnet. The coil is a perfect fit around the magnet. When you apply electricity to the coil of the diaphragm, it'll move in the suspension of the magnetic field, creating sound pressure level, or sound. So it's pretty cool. There's a couple things on the back of this driver, which is just some foam padding to help dampen some of the vibrations that are happening inside of the ear cup. This little fabric here is part of the tuning and it's part of the base port. So you have a little bit more oomph in your sub frequencies. On the back of this, I've cut open some of the fabric that helps with the tuning of the bass frequencies. This is to allow more porting for the bass frequencies to have somewhere to go and complete their cycles so it gets to your ear and sounds like bass and not like bass. You guys know what I mean. And that's pretty much it. That's the Dakoni Hi-Fi Man Cobalt. I, this is a lot. Look how many pieces there are to a headphone just to make you guys comfortable. <sighs> Okay, I'm exhausted from unscrewing all of this stuff, but this is the parts of a headphone. You have the yokes and the headband, you have the ear pads, you have the ear cups, and the parts that keep the ear cups together. You have the driver with the magnet and the attached 3.5 connection, and the diaphragm and coil that go suspended in the magnetic field. And then we have the fascia with the drivers attached, because why ruin a good pair of headphones? And that's pretty much it. If you're interested in more information about the Dakoni Hi-Fi Man Cobalt, it's available now at DakoniAudio.com. Thanks for watching.